And uh, LBJ, he liked uh, Fresca. Enjoyed uh, Fresca. <laughs> How about a fresca? He used to drink almost 10 frescas a day. They had frescas back then? <laughs> That's great. It is very warm over here on a chilly morning, so you don't have to worry about that when you're dining at night. We'll send things back to you guys. Well, you haven't left the fireplace and you're wearing a parka. <laughs> Jeez, it's, it's 60 <laughs> degrees outside, Casey. Dad. Dad? Yes. How are you? How are you? Are you? How are you, lad? Are you? Are you? Are you, are you, are you buttoned up because it's fifty-nine degrees there? Yeah, man. I just stepped outside a minute ago. I had to put on a coat. It's cold. Well, you can't blame me. She has not moved you're from in, that. You're part. indoors all the more the whole morning. <laughs> all right. I like to stay snug. <laughs> that is very popular in Italy. Uh, wow! Would you look at that? This is from Washington. Some dogs enjoying. Uh, the snow. Ah. They were grilling um, coffee and scrambled eggs on their patio with their with, with their uh, with, the with their propane <laughs> with their propane burner. God. You know, and there's just not much you can do. You just it's in somebody else's hands at that point. Gosh, that is just holy. Moly. Yeah, I mean, can you imagine if there had been cars parked on yeah. either side of the? You would have stopped you're, quicker. You're, <laughs> Your insurance man would be very busy. Wow. We got the Joneses, we got the Smiths, we got the Johnsons. <laughs> yeah, he looks like a well-fed cardinal, too. Yes. I know. Lincoln's wife also said he had uh, very muscular legs. Paul, when I when I hold my finger like this, do you do you know why I do this? When I hold it down at the bottom like this, do you have any idea why I do that? Uh, I, I, who are you plugging? It's an homage to the movie Pulp Fiction and Winston Wolf when he comes in and he says, ooh, that's really good coffee. Thank you, Jimmy. John Quincy Adams, he <laughs> liked to uh, swim naked. Swim naked in uh, the Potomac. Those navy whites, man. Ooh, good looking uniform. Sharp, yeah. yes. I found out uh, the guy's name who drove the uh, car around the track, puffing on a cigarette. Oh, Dick Trickle who is uh, having a cigarette. You know, he has a cigarette lighter in the car. He just uh, reached for it. Reminds us of the days of David Pearson. He used to do that all the time. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing. Let's go racing, boys. You know, they're in shape and it gets hot and you're in those suits. And... you imagine if you or I were on one of those pit crews, oh, how God. we could slow things down? Oh. <laughs> this goes where? No <laughs> tire won't come off again. And I understand Keselowski, but Keselowski's Keselowski. I mean, he would cry, you know, it was spilt milk. Is that the same guy that took you to go see the Northern Lights in Montana? <laughs> hey, honey. Mark Matthews. <laughs> Let me go show look you it up. Northern Lights. <laughs> I won the uh, anchor challenge at Barona. Well, I was about to say, you should be driving. And I bumped my competition. I can talk to about you know, bumping in the rear. And I knocked you to the wall. Watch coming up. And then Passes I... Passes on the inside. Inside. And I wanted to take you out here. Yeah, but you... I'll show <laughs> you the Northern you, Lights. I right. saw the Aurora Borealis. Oh. Oh. Yeah, leave me alone. I didn't even have to go to Norway to do it. <laughs> hey, man. Northern Lights, baby. I give a special tour. <laughs> the Northern you Lights do. terrible. Now you just sit over here. <laughs> Hop in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> oh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That's one way to put it, Paul. Yeah. The vaccination free superstation. Person uh, is in, uh, known for inventing the macaroni and cheese. Sure, that, macaroni. you know, my, my four, soon to be five year old, is very self aware as to who his mother is. So far, he really likes NASCAR and football. Yes. Neither of which he's going to get to experience. As long as they start developing, like, plastic bubbles, protective bubbles, you can put them into play <laughs> a race. Bubbles that you put around each table at restaurants so people can dine. And that's pleasant? I mean, are people liking that or? I... Well, it's cut down on people dashing and dining. <laughs> dining dashes. <laughs> dining dashes are zip <laughs> up the thing. Yeah, that's <laughs> true, right? <laughs> You're not going anywhere. <laughs> that's a blizzard in Austin, Texas. I can promise you that. <laughs> huh? We're in great shape, aerobic shape. Yeah, I think it's on a loop. Uh, basically, it's an infused uh, bourbon uh, with uh, Cuban tobacco. The guy I was talking about in, in Houston, Texas, was Marvin Zendler. Eyewitness News! Marvin Zendler, Eyewitness News!
Good day, sir!